Remember when you needed a special app just to scan QR codes and then your phone's camera overnight just kind of started doing it? An entire category dead overnight. Well, that same thing is happening again with AI right now, but way faster. A few days ago, Google literally snatched up coding startup Windsurf right out from under OpenAI's $3 billion offer. Windsurf was building AI dev tools that could rival GitHub's Copilot, and Google bought them up in my opinion, basically just to keep it out of OpenAI's hands. Not because Google needed the tech, but because they're killing competition before it can even grow. Digging into this a little bit, I found some stats saying that 90 to 92% of all AI startups are failing. And I don't really think it's because they're running out of money. They're just getting eaten alive by Microsoft and Google and all the other tech giants. Now I'm not talking about the big AI platforms like Claude and ChatGPT. They're not going anywhere. I'm talking about all those niche AI tools, the AI email writer, the meeting summary, the AI image resizer, all those tools that are doing one specific thing. Remember all those AI background remover tools, $10 a month to remove backgrounds? Then Canva made it free. It was added to Adobe Express. Even Microsoft PowerPoint can do that now. And just like that, an entire category of app gone. In May alone, and I'm talking just one month, Metabot scale AI for 14 billion. Salesforce grabbed Informatica for 8 billion. And Google dropped 32 billion on Wiz. 32 billion just to make sure no one competes with them. Sure, it's certainly investment, but it's also elimination. You kind of start to notice a pattern. Startup builds killer feature, raises 20 million, Microsoft clones it overnight, users ghost, investors rage, another one bites the dust. It's freaking brutal. Ernst & Young just found that deal numbers are down 10%, but deal values are actually up 18%. Translation, the giants are writing bigger checks to kill competition faster. So if you're paying for a bunch of hyper-specific tools right now, and I that you are, you got to ask yourself, is Microsoft 365 about to add it for free? Is Google going to bundle that into workspace? And what happens when they make it free? What this means for you is that most of these small tools in your stack right now, someone at Microsoft, Meta, or Google has a meeting planned about it next week to figure out how to kill it. You're basically paying monthly rent on a house that's scheduled for demolition.